In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Bull Terrier and the Cocker Spaniel. These breeds have extremely different roles in history, but are both regarded as great companion animals today. So let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bull Terrier Show. My name is Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineEaters.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about bull terriers. Then how to become high level canine leaders who can raise perfect bull terrier companions. So if you're a lifelong bull terrier lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new bull terrier, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bull Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll be taking a deeper look at the main differences between these two breeds. Let's dig right into each breed's history to get a better look at how our cherished modern canines were first developed. The English Bull Terrier we know and love today is a fairly new breed. It didn't even begin to come into existence until the mid 19th century. Before that, the bull and terrier was bred to help control vermin and participate in animal-based blood sports. In 1850, James Hinks began to standardise the bull terriers we know today. He took the bull and terrier dogs and bred them with the now extinct English white terrier. These dogs didn't have the iconic egg-shaped head they do today, but through selective breeding with other dogs, the stop in the head was shortened. Hinks also favoured the white coat and it became very popular with other people. And in 1887, the Bull Terrier Club was founded. Today, they're popular as canine companions. The Cocker Spaniel is thought to have originated in Spain because their name, Spaniel, could possibly be derived from their place of origin. Though some do argue that the name could have come from a French phrase. But regardless of where these canines are from, we know for a fact that they are descendants of one of the oldest breeds around, the Spaniel. There are records of these dogs back as far as the 14th and 15th centuries, although many believe that the Spaniel appeared in England far before that. Spaniels were originally bred to flush out game and drive them towards the hunter, but over time they started to be used as gun dogs instead. Cocker Spaniels weren't recognised as a breed until around 1885, due to the fact that Springer Spaniels could birth multiple types of Spaniel in a litter. Today these dogs are still popular as gun dogs, but also appear in shows. Moving on to appearance, if you take a look you'll see that these two dogs are nothing alike at all. The Bull Terrier stands between 50 and 61 centimetres tall and weighs in between 20 and 29 kilograms, while the Cocker Spaniel stands between 38 to 41 centimetres weighing 13 to 14 and a half kilograms. They also have extremely different coats and grooming needs. The Bull Terrier's short tight coat needs minimum maintenance to maintain it. A good comb with a grooming mitt twice a week is all it takes to keep their coat healthy. But it's also important to check for acne and other skin conditions, as this breed is prone to them. Cocker Spaniels will need to be brushed multiple times a day to keep their fur from tangling and matting. Cocker Spaniels will also benefit from a quick brush after a walk, as their long hair picks up debris, and it's also recommended they are professionally groomed every two to three months. Regularly bathing may be part of grooming for either breed depending on how often they go out and what they get into. You'll need to make sure that you don't bathe a Cocker Spaniel too often as it can change the balance of natural oils in their coat and cause allergies. This moves us into trainability for each breed. The Bull Terrier is an intelligent breed that learns things relatively quickly with the proper leadership, though they can have a bit of a stubborn streak and need someone who can be patient with them. They're a sensitive breed that doesn't do well with harsh correction, but respond very well to positive reinforcement. It's important to start their training as early as possible, and Bull Terriers can be independent, so teaching them boundaries as puppy is a must, as they will test them. This is in contrast to the Cocker Spaniel. This dog is also extremely smart but often lacks that stubborn streak found in other working dogs. They absolutely love to please and are always ready to learn new things. This makes for a highly trainable canine companion, but as always it's best to start training as early as possible to lay a good foundation for the dog and consistent training is the key to success. Even housebreaking a Cocker Spaniel is said to be easy because the breed tends to hang on to every word and they'll quickly learn where they're supposed to go. Both of these dogs can make a wonderful canine companion for the right family. Bull Terriers are known to be great with children, they love spending time with the family and love to play, which is good news for owners. 
These active dogs will need a couple of hours exercise a day to be happy and healthy, though they can be standoffish with other dogs, so proper socialisation from an early age is a must. This breed should also be supervised with small pets. Due to their high prey drive, they may mistake them as something to chase and harm. But with that said, a bull terrier raised around small animals is normally fine with them. Meanwhile, the Cocker Spaniel has earned itself a reputation as a wonderful family pet because they're so patient. Their patient nature makes them tolerant of children of any age. This dog is also extremely social by nature and they normally get along well with other dogs and family pets such as cats. But it's still advised to supervise any pet introductions just in case as you wouldn't want it to become more stressful than it may already be. In either case, you'll find yourself a great companion in either breed. The Bull Terrier and Cocker Spaniel are both great with children even though they should be supervised with younger kids. The biggest difference is that the Bull Terrier may need some extra training if your family already has a feline or other small pet. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Bull Terrier videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Bull Terrier Show.